Thank you, everybody, for all your comments on Facebook. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate um, Virginia. Thank you for linking me to the, to the page. Thank you so much. Well, um, I'm going to get started working. Um, I was born 1993, October 21st. Dad put me in an artificial belly because I was in a hospital for six months in a hospital because I was born a premium, a preemie. So, um, what premium is, is very, it's very little. And a premium is when your mother have you early, when you're not fully developing. That was, that was a premium. I, I was a premium. I was born here. I was born as a preemie, so I, my mother had me at five months. Uh, so I was, as I get older, as I get older, I would look, I went to school when I was seven years old in our, in our dirty lady school. Uh, so it was just, you know, I wasn't really learning anything. But it basically, like, like they cheated me out of my education. Um, what up, Rob? The motivator, what up? Thank you for venturing to me last week. Yesterday, uh, I love you, Bob Rudd. Um, but I would like to, but, but most of my life, in that is, my, my uncle got to give me up, give me dress, take me to the bathroom, put me on the toilet. My, my life is not easy. So, So I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I did not know what I wanted to become. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a police officer. But that didn't work out. What worked out is motivational speech. That's who I am today. Um, and I love, I love living life. At times, you go, I'm gonna have my bad days, and I'm gonna have my good days. Everybody has their bad days, and everybody has their good days. Um, what do I guess of the positive attitude? I don't know, it's not the, it's my gift. Um, but today I would like to, I don't know where, I want to give you a little bit of my life story. I love WWE. I love watching wrestling. And I love football. And I love people. And I don't care what. What right there is. And that's, that's just kind of who I am. Um, and, but today I would like to talk about today. I know there are a lot of people getting bullied today in schools, and get bullied in high school, in elementary school. What I would like to say to you, 
for days. It's a you bullying somebody to the person that you might be bullying probably want to go home and commit suicide because of your foolishness. See, every, everybody, um, people do this kind of school to learn. They kind of school to be picked up. I want to tell you something. I was bullied in my life. I told the teacher, the teacher didn't do nothing about it. Teachers, when they do the call to you and say that you, that, that they be a bully, you need to, you need to take acid right away because you don't know what they're going to do. And People that are picking on people probably have a rough life at home and want to take it on to somebody else. But I don't know what you want to do with your life. The reason why I came up with the message because I want to let people know it ain't cool to be a bully. It ain't cool to pick on people just because of how they look, just because they can't in school. With pale shoes on, maybe they family don't get money. So I want to tell you, why are you bullying somebody? What the cause of it? Are you angry at somebody? Are you mad at somebody? And you want to take it out on somebody else? I don't know you. I don't know what to be going through in your life. Um, but I'm going to say, you can bully what you want to do in life. You can always find something positive to do in your life. I know sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes you going to have days where things are going to go your way. But look, look at me. I'm a motivational speaker today. I didn't know what I was going to become. I didn't know what my purpose was. But now I know. My, my, my why is to help people. My, my why is to, to travel all around the Chicago area and go Go to different churches, go to different schools, go to prisons. I don't know what. Uh, that's my why. It, uh, my first goal is Jesus Christ. I'm doing it for Jesus. Uh, I'm doing it because I love people. And, and, and I love what I do for a living because. You can always make a difference in somebody's life, because we don't know what they go to. I don't know who I'm motivated today, but I want to tell you today, what, what, what do you try to crawl to, try to, the light ray, and the light turn green, and then you, you walk, and and you almost get hit by a car. What is that person that you are bullying save your life? Would that be something to you? That they care? I want to say this. Your life, you got a purpose. Everybody got a purpose. I don't care what race they is. I don't care what they look like. Everybody got a purpose. Hold it, Earth. You look at my life and you say, you say, he got a such positive attitude because 
I get knowledge from Jesus to motivate. I don't know what we all go to every day, but if some people want to fight in school, fight in Berlin too. So, what? Why are you fighting? You fighting because somebody said something to about you that you don't like. People can always say stuff about you. You ain't go, you're not going to like it. But you need to learn to live on, to keep pushing for your dream, for your purpose. You need to keep pushing for a. A's and B's. Fighting not going to solve anything. So, I'm here because I wanted to, I wanted to give up. I really wanted to end my life. I really told, told, I told myself I want to leave that earth, but I'm still here. You know why? Because I am a motivator, and I'm here to tell you today, please stop. You know, people come to school, you don't know how they live in their home. They probably can work. They probably, uh, like, they probably ain't got that much for dinner. They probably ain't got nothing at home to eat at all. You don't know what they live, live like. So, when that person tries to come to school and get an education, you should. You shall be coming to school and trying to get an education too. That was too difficult, right? So, I want to say this. One thing. I love you. I don't know you. Whoever watched me on the camera, I love you. And I want to say this. You gotta help me. It's okay to have big dreams. I got big dreams. I want to travel the world. Yes, I'm not going to let my cerebral palsy stop me. I'm 23 years old, and I'm not going to let my cerebral palsy stop me. My body might be limited, but my brain not limited. And I believe it's possible. Whatever you want to do in life, it's possible. I mean, I'm taking the time. I, I'm taking the, the time out of my day. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm on the chain life. That's my career. That's my purpose. But what is your career? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do. To. But I want to tell you this. Um, you are you are, for the people that get bullied today, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's a lot, it's a lot of people that wake up and their mama say, it's time to get up, it's time to go to school. And they don't want to go to school because why? Can somebody bully you? I'm so sorry for you, but no, I, 
I, I'm not sorry for you. I just, I just say that I care about you. And your life, your life, you, your life means something. You're here for a purpose. I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm here to, to tell you, don't stop, don't, don't give up coming to school because somebody picked it on you. You can get to it. My dad's intelligence is not easy. But I can do them because I got a purpose. Um, and really, what uh, I want, um, you say to yourself, um. You see one of your friends hang out with the person that get, they get in bu they get in bully and stuff. You say, oh, why you ain't get that way home? Don't worry about them. They gon' they gon' do they they gon' do their thing and you gon' do just be you. That's the best person you can be. You got great things within you. You got great things. You got, you got a great dream. I don't know. I don't know it. I don't, I don't know if you figure out what you want to do yet. Oh, uh, no. Whatever you want to do. I know. When you get a job, or when you when you find something that you love doing, I know you gonna be phenomenal at it because just just do this. When you see a person get a bully, take up for them. Take up for the person that get a bully. Tell the teacher, tell somebody, tell, tell your mother when you go home. A person getting bullied at school. Y'all need to get together to stop this. Cause people are committing suicide left and right. I'm here to tell you this. Your life means something. I'm here for you. I'm not here because I want to make somebody feel safe. I'm here because I want to make impact. I want to, I want to just encourage people to never give up. And I want to tell people that there is hope no matter what you go through. I know you have a dream. You have a dream that you want to be a doctor. But, but at least you probably have a dream that you want to be a doctor. I don't know who you are, but I'm here to tell you, look, look at what you have to, look at what you have, look at, look at, look at what you have, I adore the other people. What is that with your family member? What is somebody who bullying your, your brother or your sister? Maybe you don't have no brother or no sister. I don't know. But I'm here to tell you that teasing people, bullying people, fighting people, and no. Um, and, and, and no need for that. I'm here to tell you today, my life 
and not easy. I can't do it because I got nothing else to do. I can't, I can't read my name. I can read my land name. I can read a little bit, but I can't read everything. But you do which I want to tell you, I'm very happy. I'm very, I'm very happy to be a part of your organization because it's a lot of people that had a bad days. And I want to tell you, it's a journey. When you graduate, I, when you graduate out of high school, you might be graduating this year. You probably want to go to college. And, and probably your teacher said that's not possible. It is possible. You can do whatever your heart says. I want you to understand that nobody can take away your dream. It's your dream. They will give it to you. You gave birth to that dream. And you can make it happen. Just like I do every day with my limitations. And I thank you for Rob, the motivator. My man, we need, we need to find a way. We will. We must. We will, we can, we must make a way to get me, to get me to a beacon that gave me my brother. Um, and I would like to say thank you for all your help. Thank you. Thank you. I very appreciate it. And I have a dream. I want to get married. I want to. I, I don't know who my wife gonna be. I, I don't know who my wife gonna be. I know I probably can can pick her up, but she can pick me up. Like, I know, uh, 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 you know, I know that he's going to love me. I don't care. Black or white or Puerto Rican or Hispanic, I don't care. I love people. And I'm always love people. Because that's what I'm about. And um, I want you to say, keep fighting for your dreams. It's possible. Cause, cause my dream is to travel all over the world and motivate all around Chicago because I got to start out little and they go big. I believe that I'm a, I believe that I'm a do this. And, and I want to tell you one last thing about me. Um, I love video games. I love football and I love wrestling. And how I get started with motivational speakers, I started listening to Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Nick Voices. Um, I just started listening and I started picking it up. And I, and I want to say this, just because I get cerebral palsy, I get no limits. I get no limits. I can promote all the world, the world. I can motivate people in Chicago. I can change them. I'm changing people's life every single day. Do you know what that means to me? 
it feels good for me to live that way. And then to, to know that I, I changed somebody's life that wanted to give up. Hey, um, more things. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a, a story. I'm gonna make it up. Uh, it was a young boy. This, this is the makeup story. I'm making this story up. It was a, it was a, 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 um, a teddy. It was a, um, what I'm going to use. It was a, um, it was a six, five, six, seven. Giant. And they were picking on the little kid. And so the little kid was like, stop picking on me, stop picking on me. Oh, you stupid, you ain't gonna be nothing. Like, he was like, stop picking on me. So when that, when that giant got out of school, uh, he was trying to cross the street to go to the next corner right and so that then that, that little midget saved his life because he almost got hit by a car thank you for listening to this the way to say the motivational speaker and have a have a have a, have a fantastic day and have a fantastic school year and have a fantastic graduation and you can I'm rooting for you Th thank you and have a, a, gr a great day there are no limits for my limit I probably got to have people take care of me like I'm a little busy baby, but I'm still not going to let my disability get in my way because the Bible said I am able. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to make an impact. I'm going to change some lives and I know I'm already doing it. Thank you for your time.